I think in a women in recovery, uh, in the first year or more, getting in a relationship is definitely a downfall. I know that girls here, and what I've seen in the nine years that I've been in a sober house, I've seen young girls and girls um, come here to, for recovery and have a relationship with a young man and it never fails that they follow them and they end up relapsing. Mm. Due to arguments, due to their relationship, they're focusing on the relationship rather than on the recovery. Right. So instead of focusing on themselves, they're more involved in the relationship and because the guy is using or whatever, they follow their choice. So yes, they end up relapsing. Mm. All due to a guy. I would think it would be more men leading women because we are very desperate to be in relationships sometimes. We don't and like we'll, to be alone. No, we don't like to be alone. Yeah. But men don't like to be alone. Yeah, but women are more, much more, we get emotionally attached. Men, a lot of men can just walk up, get up and walk away from a woman because, you know, they, they have the ego where they can get another woman. It doesn't, it's, men are as clingy. That's women have low self-esteem, not men. A lot yeah, of men we validate our existence through through our relationships. You know, we mm. validate who we are by having a husband, a boyfriend, or a significant other. Mm. You know, and that's what gives us our identity. And if we're not in relationship, we're standing alone. And and sometimes it, it's it, it's better to put up with the bad than not to have anyone at all. Uh, but and the women are have their um, emotional needs different from that. You know, we, 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 live, we think on an emotional, more of an emotional level than a linear le level. We met, you know, it's cut and dry. We, we take things to heart, you know, and, and it's hard for us to, um, to let go. Because I still, you know, I've had old boyfriends um, contact me that what it's still we're using and it's very hard to say, listen, I, I'm not going to go out with you if you're drinking or use drugs. I can't do it. It's hard. Well, you know what's the biggest thing that happens when you first get clean, and Fran will agree with me, it's you put down the drugs and you're replacing it with something else. And mm -hmm. the first thing us addicts replace it with is sex, it's or sex. a man, or gambling, or clothes, <laughs> or food. <laughs> food, it's clothes, like, yeah. It's like you have to change up because you need something to fill that void. And that's why they say in NA that you should get involved in service, keep going to meetings, get involved. Women should be with the women, men should be with the men, and that you should get involved in service because service will keep you coming to the meetings. You know, and it gives you, you need the support of other women. Because when I was actively using, I didn't hang around with other women. Oh, me I hung around men. Mm, me I didn't have any kind of relationship except for friendship with these people, but, that was my thing. I had the guys. I had the guys over the house all the time. Any other woman came in, it was, you know, it was um, competition, so to speak. Smart women, foolish choices. Yes, absolutely. 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 absolutely.